Hey everyone, it's David Primer here from Cerebral Selling and what I have for you today is a very, very simple but very high impact tactic for how to close out your customer calls where there are important next steps. Now, most of our calls have important next steps. Next steps are critical to driving your deal cycle forward, but more importantly than that, you want next steps where the customer is bought in, where they are aligned, where they are marching side by side through that process with you. The challenge is how do you close out a call and get that buy-in? Now, there's a really, really simple principle. I'm gonna explain the principle, then I will explain the tactic. The principle behind why this tactic works is the fact that customers or people generally like their ideas more than they like your ideas. And so the question is, when you are ending a call and you want to set your next steps, how do you make the next steps their idea? And so it's really interesting. One of the, the, the great tactics that I saw, one of the reps at my last company, who was one of our top reps, what she used to do at the end of her calls was she used to ask the customer, hey, what do you think a good next step should be? And at first this kind of perplexed me. I said, well, why are we giving up control of the next steps to the customer, right? Like, shouldn't we take control of the next steps? And she said, no, uh-huh. There's two things that kind of happen out of that request. Either the customer actually comes back with a good next step or maybe a next step that was maybe better what I was gonna suggest, or they say, hmm, I don't know. What do you think a good next step should be? Either way, it's their decision. In way number one, it's their decision to go with their next step that they suggested and if they're committed to it, which most people are, with their suggestions, then we're in good shape. But number two, if they come back and they ask me and they say, well, what do you think a good next step should be? Now it becomes their idea to use my idea, right? So it's all about their ideas. And what was really interesting was there were some really amazing data from my friends at gong.io. And what they found was that top closers at the end of their sales calls, when they're setting next steps, they use the phrase, does it make sense to? Now, quick disclaimer, if you've seen my previous video, I'm gonna link it up here so you can see, I did a video on why using the phrase or asking the question, does that make sense, is the worst thing you can do when you're asking your customer anything for lots of these subconscious reasons. And again, go watch that video. But what's interesting is that Gong correctly found that when people use the phrase, does it make sense to, at the end of a sales call for closing and next steps, they found that close rates increased. And the reason why that happens is the exact same principles I already outlined. People like their ideas more than they like your ideas. So when I say, hey, as a next step, do you think it makes sense to, and I outline something, and they agree with me and they say yes, now it becomes their idea to go with my idea, just like before. So at the end of your sales call is really, really important. Get them to buy into that next step by making it their idea. Use the words, ask them what they think a good next step should be. Ask them, hey, does you think this makes sense? Get them to buy in. The more bought in they are to that next step, the higher the affinity, the higher the alignment, and the greater your close rates are gonna be. That's my tip, we'll see you next time.